What's up, CPA? I'm Marley, and I'm back in the Soli Dea Center to host the next episode of the CPA Media Studio Series Soundcheck Dance Edition. This year, the dance showcase is called Abide because the lower, middle, and upper school dance companies have anchored their year in John 15. Back in July, the dance coaches had the girls meditate on what it means to abide in Christ, bear his fruits, and be pruned by him. This year's show continues to explore the theme John 16, 33, which states, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. Today, we'll meet some of the dance performers who will be performing in jazz, contemporary hip hop, and ballet routines live at Abide. Thank you so much for sitting down with me, Mojo. Will you tell me a little bit about CPA dance? It's changed so much in the past like five years. It's grown so much, but it's like 40 girls. And it's just, I love how many girls want to do dance here. This is like my first year and what I've experienced is like a lot of family time. I feel like, like we do a lot of group work and the dances are really fun to be in, especially like small groups. You're like helping them to grow in dance and in God because they're looking up to you. Will you tell me about the dances you're in? I'm in a hip hop uh, dance called Rhythm Nation. And it really is like about how we should all be kind to each other and act like brothers and sisters rather than just fighting all the time. I think something that's been really special about directing this year is that the girls are confident in their art form and they're excited to share that with people. So every performance that we've done this year, I could feel that a little bit, but in preparation for the show, we're feeling it from all 64 dancers not just performing, doing something that they love, but using their art form as an offering and a form of worship. Will you tell me a little bit about the name of the showcase, Abide? It's really a great name because I feel like it really teaches you to like, uh, trust in God and just put, your, like, put all your troubles in His hands and He will take care of it. It's like if you abide in Christ, then He can help you through all your tough times. And like when He says, I'm the vine and you are the branches, it's kind of like you're abiding, like our symbol is kind of like a tree. It stemmed from there and just meditating on what does it look like to abide in Christ? And what does it feel like for him to abide in you? And not only that, but how can that then transform this, this gift that you've been given? Like none of us, none of the dancers created their own beings. They didn't give themselves this gift. And sure, you can work at it and refine your craft, but like what we have is from the Lord. I guess I'm just really excited to see how confident these little girls are and just like know themselves and they just know who they are and I just love it. What would you like to say to anyone who wants to come see the show? I think I would say come with an open heart. Dance shows can be very emotional and very spiritual because you don't speak in them. So you don't have anything verbal to create a story. And we're praying over the audience, we're praying over the dancers, we're praying over the crew. But we know that not everybody who's gonna come into this space has a relationship with the Lord right now. Maybe they do, but they're really struggling in a season or maybe they're in a season of great joy and flourishing. And so I would say, if you're coming, come with your heart open and ready to receive whatever the Lord is gonna give to you because I believe that He has something for everybody that's coming. That's incredible. I'm really excited to see the show. Thank you so much for sitting down and talking with me. Thank you so much for sitting down with me. I love your outfit. It's so cute. Thank you so much for sitting down with me. I'm so excited to see the show. Thank you. <laughs>